Hello, I'm ADF Sniper and welcome to WebMod. I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown. So first of all, you will need to create a WebMod account. Um, you can do this by going to webmod.com.au. When you create a WebMod account, you'll come to the main screen of WebMod. Um, as always, I ask for people to donate because this does take time to develop and also service cost money as well. Okay, so you can close the screen, you can click the close button, or you can just click outside of that. That'll pop up when you first go to the web mod page. Now, up the top, um, the web mod service and the game command service um, uh, two different services. The game command service does all the Archon and in-game commands. Um, it generates a file for the web mod service and the web mod service pretty much populates all the details about your server into a database. Um, some extra added the shop mod which will allow you to do some in-game shopping or you can have your own website with the shop listed there and you can search through all the different items that you've inserted into the shop. Um, the game command allows you to do backslash help, backslash teleport. Uh, the bounty mod is a feature to earn cash hunting players that have a bounty will earn you a fair bit of cash depending on the amount of cash they have on them and how many bounties they have on them as well. VAT kick uh, will allow you to kick any player that has a VAC ban and also com kick which is community kick that will allow you to kick any player that has a community ban. Um, also added there that you can't see is a family kick which will kick a player that is using a family share account which also has a VAC ban on the parent account of that child account that they're using. When you first log into WebMod the first page you'll see will be the dashboard. So the dashboard will display your top players, your top online session, the top most cash spent, the top kills, and the top bounties. There are a few more features I want to add there, but finding the time is a bit hard. Next we'll have a look at the players. So we'll have a look at the online players. And here you'll see their Steam ID where if you click on their Steam ID, it'll bring up their Steam profile, their username, their game ID, their status, their join date, the last time they were online, their online time, and the amount of game cash they have to spend. Okay, let's have a quick look at the player database. So the player database displays all of the players that have ever joined the server when they joined, and all the details about them pretty much. Um, a lot of them, a lot of the details isn't actually displayed here but will eventually be implemented into WebMod later on down the track. Okay let's have a look at WebMod and we'll click on admin setup. So what you want to do is put all your admins in the box below. These are their Steam IDs. This will allow WebMod to recognise that an admin has joined the server and set all permissions up for that admin. If you have set up to display how many players are online and how many admins are online, um, you can enable a secret admin. So when your admin joins, it displays that there are no admins online. It will just display them as a player. Uh, they'll still have the admin functionality in the game as well. Okay, let's have a look at server settings. Um, new player alert message, it probably doesn't 
really matter if that's off because in seven days to die you're notified when a new player joins anyway. Um, the welcome back message welcomes the player back when they join the server or you can welcome them back with an insult. Um, the other option is to display how many players are on when the player joins. So uh, it will display how many players are on and as I said before how many admins are on in the game server goodbye message when the player lays a server not that they'll get the message but you can enable that if you like show the amount of time players have been on the server this will display the amount of time players played on the server it also displays how much cash they have. Also you can send their drop to drop every 15 minutes or so, whatever you choose to have enabled on your server. This will run alongside the server's default airdrop for whatever that's set for. Okay, so let's have a look at web mod settings. So inside of web mod settings, you can enable web mod or turn it off. You can also change your Telnet password if you have changed your password in the server's configuration file or you can delete your account if you choose to. Okay, let's have a look at shop mod. So inside of shop mod items, um, here you can set all the items that you would like to appear in your shop so um, this goes by the name of the item uh, the amount of that item and how much you're gonna price that item for let's change that one zero 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 etc to a price and that item will then become available inside of the shop. Okay, let's visit your shop. So this is the admin um, page of the shop where you've got a few extra options. So you can actually choose what player um, you're buying for and then buy the item for them or add a bounty on them or teleport to that player. The players do not see the option to choose a player unless there's two players playing off the same IP address then one of those players will have to choose which player they're shopping for. Teleport option is not viewable by players. Okay let's have a look at the shop settings. So in shop settings you can enable or disable the shop. Um, this will also disable the in-game shop as well. The shop URL is the link that sends them to the shop page. So either you can set up an iframe on your website, um, customize the header and footer, or you can just create a tiny URL link which will direct them to the shop address. Okay, let's have a look at game commands and we'll go to the settings page. So the first option is you can enable or disable the in-game command. Um, you also can enable invalid command notice. So if the player doesn't get a command correct, then it will display that the command isn't correct and they have to try again. Um, you can enable your shop for in-game or disable it. You can enable suicide from inside the game or disable it. Um, you can enable vote kick from in the game or disable it. So how the vote kick works is if six players, depending on how many players are on the server, um, vote a player out then um, they will not be able to join for 10 minutes. Um, you the other option is that you can enable, disable 
um, give cash. So one player could give another player a certain amount of cash. This there will be a notice. I'll let them both know that the cash has been wired across to them. Okay, let's have a look at bounty. So inside of the bounty settings, you have enable and disable bounty and the bounty in the shop. So if you want to put a bounty on somebody, you can set a price on how much of a bounty you want to put on them. And you can also adjust the bounty price. So a quick rundown on how the bounty works. So each player can get a bounty anywhere between 1 and 10. 1 being 10% and 10 being 100% of the cash that the player has. So if a player that doesn't have a bounty kills a player that has one bounty, that player will receive 10% of their cash. If the player does not kill a player that has a bounty, that player will then receive one bounty and so forth. If they kill another player that doesn't have a bounty, then they'll have two bounties on their head, which will mean they will lose 20% of cash if a player that doesn't have a bounty kills them. Okay, so the next option is Firewall. This has only just been added to WebMod. Um, so the Firewall will enable you to kick players from countries. So if you want to kick players from China, then enter in the letters CN. Um, there's a link there so you can find out what each country code is. Um, later on there'll be other options, but for now that seems to get rid of, I'd say, 90% of all the hackers. Okay, let's have a look at bands and kicks and we'll go to bands admin. So here you have the option to kick players that have VAC bans, or you can specify the amount of days since their last ban for them to be able to join. Um, you can also allow community kicks from other servers, so if somebody had kicked somebody for hacking on a different server that's running WebMod, then they'll also be kicked on your server as well. Um, and allow family kicks, anyone with a family sharing account, it will look at the parent account of those and if they have a back ban or community ban then they'll be kicked. Um, so the last option there is ban or unban a player so you can add bans to players or you can unban them and you can give an option, a reason why they have been banned. Okay, let's have a look at your bands. So, your bands are the bands that you have done on your server. Uh, these can be the VAC bands, or they can be just bands for any reason that you gave when you banned the player. Okay, so the other option in bands and kicks is community bands. Um, I think I've already been over that, so this will just list all the reasons why the player's been banned, who they've been banned by, and who the player is, and when they got banned. Okay, let's quickly run through tools. Okay, Archon Command. So Archon Command allows you to send a command to your server using Archon. MOTD's message of the day, you can enable, disable this, choose its cycle. Um, you've got four lines there where you can put in your messages. And tag protection. So enabling tag protection will protect your player's tags if you're in a game. And anyone using those tags will be kicked from the server. 
Um, so the first drop down is apply to select to add the tag protection to, and you can also remove that player from tag protection. Okay, now let's have a look at logs. So the chat log displays the chat history of all the players and also a live feed of the in-game chat. Uh, we'll have a look at Archon status. Archon status will just display the query from your server into WebMod. If you don't see anything there, there is something wrong with the query. And sometimes it's intermittent. It won't be there or will be there. Uh, let's have a look at the web mod log. Web mod log pretty much logs every single thing that happens on your server. And when a player joins, when a player leaves, where they're from, etc, etc, etc. Uh, the shop log displays who's visiting the shop, what they have bought, how much cash they have, how much they just spent, and how much they do have now. The kill log will display who killed who. The bounty log will display who killed who and how much of a bounty they have on them. And the bounty log will display who's got bounties, who hasn't, how much they got. Okay, let's have a look at player command log. So player command log will display all the commands a player has typed into chat. So basically that's pretty much a rundown of WebMod. I hope you enjoy.